Hey, what's up, YouTube? Llama here, and I've got a game with some uh, Black Ops 2, which I think I already uploaded this game. I'm not sure, but um, my computer decided to be retarded. I put the new uh, Mac 10.9 update on it, and it decided to... Uh, I put it on there, and then it worked good, and I was like, all right, I'm going to do a clean install of this, so I backed up all my crap on the uh, external hard drive. I wiped my uh, internal drive clean, and then my external hard drive was corrupt, so it took me a good day and a half to pull all the data from it using some program that was like slow as hell so I get that on I finally try to copy it over it wouldn't let me use my time machine I just manually copied it and then since the user accounts are the same name it won't let me into any of my files so this was on an another external drive Apple sucks balls um I don't know I'm just pissed I still don't have all my crap on here I'm trying to do it again I should just buy a Windows computer because I wanted to get something that can uh, render out a video without taking six days to do it and sounding like my computer is going to explode. This thing gets to like 250 degrees it's like that shit should not get that hot for a laptop that's made out of like a metal enclosure. You would think that could catch fire or something. Or not metal but aluminum. Kind of same thing. Anyways, um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that but that's why, um, that's why I'm using this video again. I had like three Black Ops 2 videos saved and I wanted to do one of those. I didn't have any MLB videos saved so um, Red Sox ended up winning the World Series last night in six games. A uh, pretty easy win for them. 6-1. Victorino came through. I think it was like the third inning where he had the uh, nice three-run RBI off the uh, monster there in left field. So uh, nice for the Red Sox to win. The Boston strong thing is kind of a little <laughs> annoying, which that probably sounds douchey because it's like you don't want to like say make fun of a tragedy or whatever. But it's just like, I don't know, a lot of their fans are holding on to that. It's like, dude, it's... You can't equate, like, baseball, I love it, but you can't equate that to, like, a tragedy like that. Like, when people try to connect that, they did that with, like, 9-11 and stuff. They try to, like, connect it with sports. It's just like, I, I don't get it. It's just so they can sell all their Boston Strong t-shirts with Red Sox logos and make more money. But, um, I always liked the Red Sox growing up just because the Pirates have always sucked. This was, like, the last three years they've been pretty good. This year was good. Last year was good till the second half of the season. And then I think, like, three years ago they did good, but they dropped off right before the All-Star game. But um, they got a good team now. But yeah, it was cool to see Boston win. I would have liked to see St. Louis. Well, I don't want to say I would like to see them win it because they uh, ended up knocking the Pirates out. But they got a really classy franchise. Uh, good. They just couldn't come through with runners in scoring position. They couldn't hit. But all regular season they did. They were hitting like 350 or something crazy with uh, guys in scoring position for the entire season, which is kind of insane. And then their pitching staff is loaded too. The Sox got good pitchers. That Uihara or Uihara dude they got from Texas, which is freaking insane after... I don't even know if Bailey was pitching for them, that one closer they got from Oakland, but Hanrahan was out. So uh, they get this guy who no one's ever heard of from Texas, and he just comes in and is a great pitcher. He uh, got the uh, final uh, final inning here, so he didn't get the save because they were up by, like, what, like five runs or something. But he ended up getting the pitch uh, for the win, which is nice because they said Boston hasn't won a World Series at home since uh, 1918. The last two ones they have won were on the road, which they swept both of them, so... I don't know, they're just like monsters when they get into the postseason. They are, what, uh, three World Series titles since 2004, which is nice. The new manager they got has been uh, great since they got rid of Bobby Valentine, who is, I don't know, he annoyed me. I don't know why they had to get rid of Terry Francona. I liked him, but he did good with Cleveland, even though the Indians don't have that great of a fan base. I think the only game they sold out this year was the uh, wild card one. It's like, come on, go, go support that team. It's not Tampa Bay here. Cleveland's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of good sports fans in it. Um, I know you're not supporting the Browns there. They kind of suck. Actually, they're doing better than the Steelers this year, so I shouldn't say anything. But the Steelers have no offensive line. They can't run the ball at all. They have one receiver. But the Browns were doing good when they had Ho Hoyer as quarterback, but he went down for the year. So that kind of put down their chances in making the postseason. Which if they did make the postseason, I think they'd go uh, one and out. But they're definitely not going to now, which is... Uh, once Cincinnati likes to do every year, they do uh, pretty good in the regular season. They win uh, nine or ten games and then go out in the uh, wild card rounds of the uh, playoffs every year. I don't remember the last time Cincinnati actually made it out of the first round of the postseason, but uh, Bengals look legit this year, but I think they're going to have another early uh, playoff loss. And then uh, what else do we got going on here? Call of Duty Ghost comes out on the 5th, which I thought it was just for the 5th for the uh, Xbox One, and then it was like the 11th for all the other consoles, but... Apparently it comes out on the 5th for every console, so um, I need to go pre-order that crap, which Sony's doing a cool thing now where you can like pre-order it, or not pre-order it, pre-download it two days before, and then um, at midnight on uh, the 5th it'll just like go live, so you don't have to like actually download the shit, it'll just be right on there, and it'll be like DRM locked, so right when it's midnight you can just get on and play it, uh, which will be cool, and then a lot of people are just like, oh I'm going to download it and sell copies, it's like you can't because they lock it to your, well at least Xbox, they lock it to your account name, so... 
like say um, you copy it on a hard drive and you're trying to play it at a friend's house or something, it'll be like you have to log in with the account that made the purchase for this or you just can't use the uh, content. So um, yeah, people who thought they were going to get around that, it's like, yeah, I think Microsoft has it covered. They're not that run or they're going to let people just kind of like steal their game so easy. But um, yeah, congrats to the Red Sox. And then I'm going to try to make some Call of Duty Ghost videos here. Um, Got to get this gay computer working again. I think I have like two more gameplays left. So the next gameplay, I don't even know what I got, but I'm going to make another video here. So, damn, this one was old. I was like fourth prestige, third, fourth prestige in that. But right, that's it, guys. Uh, bye.